previously on Poker After Dark. Here's my book for here's my book for you, Anton. King, sir. Let me have a set. Good luck, sir. Well, I guess one of us is going home. <laughs> Over a pair. Oh, wow. We're looking at. Wow. Good, good job, brother. Good luck. Well, thank, thank you, sir. I got my free drink. E dog. Really are. Good. We're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with Leanne. You guys have fun together. I'm ready to play. Is there a seat open? I wonder what the lineup is. I love the action. I hate to wait. Why? Because when I walk into a poker room, I own it. I control the game. I see your every move. I read you like a book. I know when to bluff you. I know how to intimidate you. I'm the best there is. Poker is my life. Deal. Lock the doors. Don't let anybody leave. I'm going to punish these fools. Let's kick it up. I hope you all don't run out of money. I dare you to call me. It's only a matter of time before I bust you. Go ahead. Try to check raise me again. Go ahead. I'm all in. Please call me. That's so sick. 200 again? They make every draw against me. How can I be this unlucky? Don't worry. We'll meet again. That's poker, folks. Welcome to Poker After Dark. I'm Leanne Tweeden. Nicknames Week continues with these remaining players. Annette the Huntress Oberstad, the youngest bracelet winner ever. Mike the Mouth Matisso, owner of three bracelets who recently released his autobiography. Antonio the Magician Esfandiari, who has career tournament winnings of nearly four million. Phil the Unabomber Lock, winner of the Party Poker World Open in London. And Phil the Poker Brat Helmuth, 11 time bracelet winner. Let's get the cards in the air. The empty seat at the table belonged to Eric Lindgren, who busted in sixth earlier this week. Chip leader currently is Antonio Esfandiari by a wide margin over Phil Locke and Phil Helmuth. Matisau in fourth and Oberstad in fifth. It's in Phoenix, man. It's the most fun. A couple of eights to kick off the night for Matisau. He triples the big blind. We're treated like kings for three days. Antonio calls, as does Phil Locke, with a couple of nines. Yeah, find out about transportation from L.A., would you, for Jennifer and I? And, and Antonio, do you think Kevin has another spot for us? Kevin has a huge house. We were partying at last year. I love it's like Kevin's a mansion. House. It's a great house. Okay. Antonio outflops both the pocket pairs. After the bar's closed, we went to Kevin's. Third best, Matiso fires the continuation bet. Lock out of the way with the two nines. Heads up now. Not Antonio's favorite card on the turn. He'll make the call for 2200 however. Pots up to almost 12000 and Antonio makes trip kings on the end. Mike shuts it down. Antonio firing less than half the pot. Mike trying to figure out what he can beat here. Good fold. He settles on nothing. Oh, the bluff. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever a bluff. <laughs> <laughs> The question is whether he had a set or not. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know he didn't have a king. That was 100% sure of. What? You know, really? How can that be 100%? Yeah. I'm just telling you, he didn't have a king. I'll tell you what. I'll take you as a king suited. and you have the field for 5,000 if you want. I'll do it for 1,000. 1,000? Done. Say goodbye to that grand. I have king, you have the field, 1,000. You got it. 
You guys are going to have to wait till it airs because I want to torture both of you. <laughs> okay, so we got a thousand on that, Mel. Fifth, oh, I'll tell you guys ten, after. Ten, right? Fifteen and ten, yeah. The magician, you know, King Tennis. Just tell me he owes me a thousand or I owe him a thousand. One of you was the other thousand. He's going to torture Let us, know, Mike. So I, could, so I could, like, put it on the figures. <laughs> He'll probably let you know at the end of the day, Mike. I really thought you had, like, sevens or eights until you called it. Fold it around to a net on the button who makes it 800 with Queen-10 suited. Right. I'm almost bad on Mike's side. I know. At even money, it was a bad bet. I just... I'll take some more even money. Yeah, I will too. I'll tell you what, I'll lay 10%. And, uh, I'll let you buy out side. for 800 right now. Can't do it. Antonio sir. playing back at a net with Queen 9 off suit. 1,600 more to call. It's not the last bad bet I'll make. But if you win it, that wasn't a bad bet, right? Still. Bad form in the bet making department. Annette gave a little pause. Looked like she might have been thinking about making a play herself, but she settles on a fold. Don't tell us what you have. And Antonio picks tell up some more chips. Today. Just tell him that he owes me a thousand or I owe him something. He's not thousand. gonna. Say He's gonna torture us. The more you ask, well, the more. If I say who owes who, you guys are gonna know what well, I had. No, we're not right? gonna know what you had. We're gonna only. If, well, you're gonna know if you what I didn't or have or did have, so right. I can't do it. Not really. Well, he can just wait until you're busted and whisper it to you. <laughs> or until he's busted. I just want to get out of the bed. You just want, I just want you to just, like, 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 make me look bad or Phil look bad right on national TV. There's I, only a thousand on it, right? Yeah, but Mike, no one else took more action? Mike, there's, no there's, a, there's a, already one of you looks bad. The public yeah, already knows the answer. Outside of that one, I would have definitely booked action I mean, on I, one side. I definitely, I, just the thought of just The, thought <laughs> the of thing is, Phil, I could have got odds. That's why I took just the bad thought of beating Phil off. I, I, I don't think it was your smartest bet. You might have won, Phil, but, yeah, you could have gotten some odds there. Yeah. He's There's so, so many other hands he's likely to have. I know, it's just bad for him. But it's hard for him to really have an ace. What do you think? Here he comes, the magician. He's going to do it. Impossible. Now he's on a roll. Now he's hyped up. No one knows what he had in that hand. 1,100. He either put me on a, he either put me on a different hand, floated me twice to take it, which I don't think so, or, or he flopped a set of fours. I agree. <laughs> I don't think he floated you twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, he could have been ace. I'm going to go out on a limb. He had Phil he could, have had he could have had pocket aces and just, <laughs> like, flatted the flop and turned the gin, gin on the turn. Could have. Possible. You know, he didn't have that. King's he out jumped out of his seat just a little sure bit. <laughs> I promise you I didn't have the best hand on the river. Mike finally right about something in that hand. It doesn't seem likely you had the best hand on the no. river. <laughs> You I'm might have Queen of Jack, it. you picked up a straight draw. Or... No, Phil, I don't raise with Queen Jack from under the gun, Phil, like no, you do. what is you know? I probably fold that. This is a good rate, Bill. Two tens or two jacks or something. Well, I, don't, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to your you hand, Mike. Queen Jack. But the 7 9 was later positioned. It was suited. It, yeah, it was suited. <laughs> Limpy Dimpy. Wimpy Jimpy. Limpy probably gets a free flop against me, right? I like Limpy Wimpy. Limpy well, Wimpy. When did you, where did you come up with that one? Phil? I don't know. It's bad, huh? Check. It's like, not your worst, but it's up there. Limpy Wimpy. What the heck did Mike limp with? Three players. First action. Locke flops a gut shot to a wheel. Helmy's fives out in front. That is 650. Nice hand, Phil. Battle of the Phil. Both Phil's. Nice hand, boys. <laughs> Battle of the Phil. Well, they, they brought this hand up, and I just figured it was. <laughs> I figured I had to play. You guys are talking about it. It just looked like a good hand to play in this spot. <laughs> it was like a, like a deja vu. Yeah. Locke picks up the only club draw. <laughs> Do I have to bet four? Please. Jeez. Please, I want to watch Phil fold. <laughs> Oh, this would be so pure. This would be worse than the in that one. That'd be so pure. Oh, no, you can't do it. Oh, maybe. <laughs> God, he's so hopeless. Wow. He just leads, hoping that no one is an ace, and they're all going to fold to him. You know, he gets called and gives up, you know? I'm so glad you led, because if I would have led, Mike would have raised me, I think, with nothing. Lock check folds to Phil Helmut's min bet. 
And on a scale of one to ten, would you rate the quality of play that Phil Locke played on that hand? I don't know what he had. Did he win the pot? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. I would rate a zero. <laughs> the action continues from the Golden Nugget when we return for more of NBC's Poker After Dark. Welcome back to Las Vegas for more of NBC's Poker After Dark. Phil is completely capable of lying. I just—I was just watching last night. He lied about every single hand. <laughs> and then the amazing, and the amazing thing was that, that I mean, uh, that, that every time Let Antonio said something. you had this hand, he had exactly that hand. And then he started claiming he didn't have that hand either. And then, and then Antonio bet. would offer him a bet. <laughs> and then he, and now he, that would just blow his mind. Phil has now to he's tell like, this big when he has a hand and when he doesn't. You know? Antonio can read All my best. Was just find he had jacks against her. Is that what you're talking about? And he goes, I folded jacks. I'm like, no, you didn't. He's like, how much you want to bet? I'm like, let's both write down a number, and wherever the number matches, we have a bet. He didn't want to do it. Of course not. If I didn't have jacks, what am I supposed?